वेलकम टू जेस एस मेट्रिकुलेशन स्कूल तालावाड़ी सोशल क्लास टुडे आई गो टू एक्सप्लेन यू जियोग्रफी लेसन नंबर थ्री हाइड्रोलॉजिकल साइकिल कंटिन्यू पार्ट इन द पास्ट क्लास आई एक्सप्लेन द वाटर ऑन द अर्थ एंड हाइड्रोलॉजिकल साइकिल और वाटर साइकिल टुडे आई गो टू एक्सप्लेन यू components of hydrological cycle hydrological cycle is a circulation of water it is a continuous process and takes place naturally the three important it means uh, the six important phase of the hydrologic cycles are evap evap transpiration condensation precipitation infiltration percolation and runoff now we are going to learn about the first one evapotranspirations it is defined as the total loss of water from the earth through evaporation from the surface water bodies in the transpiration from vegetation in cropped area it is a difficult to determine the evaporation and transpiration separately the following part explain the process of evaporation and transpiration separately in the evapor transpiration there will be a two types that's one is first evaporations evaporation refers to the process in which of the liquid form of water changes into gaseous form water boils at 100 degrees celsius it means 212 degree fahrenheit temperature but it is actually begins to evaporate at 0 degree celsius it means 32 degree fahrenheit and the process takes place very slowly temperature is the prime element which affect the rate of evaporation there is a positive relationship between these two variables aerial extent of surface water wind and the atmospheric humidity are the other variable which affect the rate of evaporation the atmosphere gets nearly 90% of moisture from the oceans sea lakes and rivers through evaporation i 10% of the moisture from plants through transpirations on a global scale the amount of water gets evaporated is about the same as the amount of water delivered to earth as precipitation this process varies geographical as the evaporation is more prevalent over the oceans than precipitation why over the land precipitation routinely exceeds evaporation the rate of evaporation is low during the periods of clam winds then during windy times when the air is clam evaporates water tends to stay close to water body during windy the water vapor is driven away and is replaced by dry air which facilitates additional evaporations do you know the rate of evaporation increases with increase in wind speed 
increasing temperature, decreasing humidity, and increasing aerial extent of surface water body. The next is transpiration. The transpiration refers to the process by which the water content in the plants are released into the atmosphere in the form of water vapor. Much of the water taken up by plants is released through transpiration. The rate of transpiration is also affected by the temperature, wind and humidity. The rate of transpiration is also affected by nature of vegetation and the method of cultivation of crops. The next point of components of hydrologic cycle is condensation. It refers to the process in which the gaseous form of water changes into liquid form. Condensation generally occurs in the atmosphere when warm air rises, cool and loses its capacity to hold water vapor. As a result, excess water vapor condenses to form cloud droplets. Condensation is responsible for the formation of clouds. Those clouds produce precipitation, which is the primary route for water to return to the earth's surface in the water cycle. Condensation is the opposite of evaporation. Now we are going to learn about forms of condensation. Dew, frost, fog, mist and clouds are the different form of condensation. Now we are going to see that what is the dew. It is a water droplet formed by the condensation of water, vapor on relatively cold surface of an object. It forms when the temperature of an object drops below the dew point temperature. The second one is frost. The ice crystal formed by depositions of water vapor on a relatively cold surface of an object is known as frost. It forms when the temperature of an object drops below the freezing point of temperature. 